Are you constantly battling with ChatGPT over the spelling of words such as colour without the U or words such as prioritisation without the S? In this video, I want to show you how you can change the language settings from American English to an Australian English. So let's get started. Okay, now once you've logged into your account, over on the right hand side, you'll see your name here. So click on your profile image and then select settings. Now, one of the first things you'll notice here is the option for language. So it's currently set to auto detect. So if we use the drop down box here, you will notice that there's an option here for US English. However, if we scroll down, you can see here that there are lots of language that you can select from. So for an example, you can select Indonesia, you can also select from a number of other language options that you can see here. However, there is no option here to be able to select Australian English. So what you can do is you can change the language by adding in a custom prompt. So if we select on personalization here, under custom instruction, turn this on. So under custom instruction, there's a note here to say, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide a better response? So here I've just typed in, I'm from Australia, so please write in Australian English and do not use US English. Under how you would like ChatGPT to respond, I'm just going to type in, all written responses must be in Australian English. This just reminds ChatGPT that I want all written responses to be in Australian English. If you want, you can also provide ChatGPT more information in terms of your style, who you are, and also how you want it to respond. And then once you're done, hit save. And on the main page, just type in your prompt. And here ChatGPT will respond back in Australian English. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you'd like to learn more about ChatGPT and how you can get the best out of it and other AI tools to improve your digital communication, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the meantime, you might want to check out the next video on how you can leverage the voice feature to ace your job interview, or you can check out the other video on the top three ways to use the voice feature for professionals. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.